Hey, so about 700,000 years ago, I filmed a video of myself playing Thomas the Tank Engine on the ukulele, the theme from the old Thomas the Tank Engine TV show. Um, I don't know how I learned it. A friend of mine challenged me to learn it on guitar or challenged me and another friend to learn it on guitar. And I did that and then I translated it to ukulele. It's not 100% correct. It's missing this sort of middle section that goes but uh, this is how I have always played it and um, since I made that video a lot of people have asked for tabs or instructions on how to play it so um, while I'm on lockdown and quarantine like the whole entire rest of the world why not uh, show you how to play it I've been meaning to do it for like seven years so here we go I've got my little close-up uh, camera here and hopefully you can figure out what I'm doing just from that I'll talk you through it as we go so it starts off just one finger on the G C E, so that's a G. And I play the two middle strings at the same time. I oh, and the the G with my thumb. So it's kind of playing an octave. And then we go open, and then so, and then the fifth to the seventh. I hit the um, the string on the way, so and then, which is a G sharp. So I'm going, so hitting these two strings at the same time. And then the then the thumb alternating. Oh, and then that one. So that so far. And then to a, a F shape. So I'm doing the the first time I'm doing the this string and this these two strings all at the same time. And then the middle two. And then just the outs of those two. To a G. Sometimes I play a G seventh here. Whatever you like. The G seventh is a bit more trainy. Okay. Uh, but um the standard G is a bit better for the next bit because there's a hammer on coming up. So, so. Uh, and then the hammer on. So it goes. So that's his seventh chord. That's quite a hard chord to play because you sort of have to bar it. Or you can just do it like this. Don't bar it, don't worry about barring it. And the same hammer on and off again. So that's like a G sharp. So that again is if you just use these three strings here, you can just use, you can just do a, whoops, and then, so so far it goes like this. that real tricky chord again which is the, the the seventh chord I think it's an E flat on ukulele then 
take the little finger off and then back to the, that G. So this is a really hard bit of the song. And then the G sharp goes down a few steps, so... So it's just the same chord moving down. third finger there. so that would be an F but I'm not playing that one and then so Just barring those three, and then, and then that G sharp. You can do that or that, same chord basically. So this next bit is really interesting, it's like a diminished run. And I may have played it like slightly wrong on the original video. I um, actually had to work out how this is supposed to go. But it's this. So the shape is like a... Um, uh, it's what's well, diminished. It's a diminished chord. But it's the same fingering as a 7th chord. So if you know the G7... You just don't play this one um, but and you start it here on the 11th fret so it's 11 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then down three frets and then down three frets and then down three frets to that G7 shape This one, which is one first fret, second fret, first fret. That's like a G shape, so if you know that chord, but go down strings and then down a fret. So that again. And then just that last bit again. Now the hardest bit of the whole song Why is it the hardest bit of the whole song? Because I always hit the wrong fret uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Ok so one more time all the way through I'll play it a little bit slower than the original so just so you can see it Okay, so I hope you got something out of that. Don't forget, there's always the slow down feature in YouTube. If you click the settings, you can slow it down to make it easier if it's going too fast for you. I learn a lot of things that way. Um, but I hope you managed to learn it or figure it out. It gives you something to do anyway. And uh, hey, remember to subscribe if you like. I'll, I'll be doing some more instructional videos on various things. Um, and um, have fun. That's the main thing.